And some labor unions argue that the 30-day ultimatum to the labor department to report companies refusing to pay the minimum wage will not yield any results. And the unions are rather asking the labor ministry to resource the department to make it more effective. On Thursday, February 19, the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, Haruna Idrisu, issued a 30-day ultimatum to the Labor Department to report companies which are not paying the new minimum wage of seven cities. However, some labor unions doubt if the directive will push companies to adhere to the new wage. As I speak to you now, there are a lot of applications lining up there for the department to take a practical move into the field. But the resources are not there. Personal resources, vehicular resources, even sometimes they tell you the only one vehicle we have, no fuel. So if this directive is coming, whether out of the top of the minister's head or well calculated, we'll be more happier if the promise even uh, giving them equipment even to work before this. That would be fine. The Civil and Local Government Staff Association, CLOCSAC, argues the ministry should rather adequately resource the department. We have companies all around the country, and for them to undertake this tax, they have to go around the country, and they will need vehicles, they will even need money. And so the important thing that we should ask is whether they have the capacity to undertake this tax. A labor expert, Prince Ama, strongly requested the labor department to provide a database of defaulting companies. Has the labor department got a database of all organizations, foreign and local, in Ghana? That is a that is a that's a starting point. If that document or if that if database is available, how well has it, that data been maintained? I mean, do they update that database? Mm. To, to uh, such a way that we we'll have a current information about the organizations or those organizations are, are existing on the books, but practically they may not be available. Currently, the new minimum wage is yet to be gazetted.